Hello, and welcome again to the Audiobook Reviews Podcast, and today I'll be reviewing American Gun, A History of the U.S. in Ten Firearms, by Chris Kyle and William Doyle. Let me just start off today with the sponsor, which is audible.com, and... <clears throat> Of course, as someone that spends a lot of time in a truck and listening to a lot of audiobooks, that's why I started this podcast. I go through a lot of audiobooks and I recommend getting the audible.com account, the $14.95 per month, and you, that gets you a audiobook each month and you can get a free one by joining today if you go to www.audibletrial.com forward slash A-U-D-R-E-V-P-O-D. That's AudRevPod. Please go to my website. It's audiobookreviewspodcast.com and you can check out all the reviews I've done there as well as link to Audible and... And now I've got a HostGator affiliate on there. If you're looking to start a start your own blog, start your own website, build your own website, I recommend using HostGator and to build your website on and have them host it. Okay, now to the book, uh, American Gun, A History of the U.S. in Ten Firearms, written by Chris Kyle and William Doyle, narrated by John Pruden. The length is 6 hours and 55 minutes. Um, this was... Chris Kyle was actually in the process of writing this book when he was killed. And I'll read the first part. This comes from audible.com's website. <clears throat> and it's the uh, publisher's summary. And it says, At the time of his tragic death in February 2013, a former Navy SEAL... Chris Kyle, the most accomplished sniper in U.S. military history, was finishing a remarkable book that retold Amer American history through the lens of a hand-selected list of firearms. Kyle masterfully argue argues that guns have played a fascinating, indispensable, and often underappreciated role in our national story. Kyle carefully chose ten guns to help tell his story including the American Long Rifle, Colt 45 Revolver, Winchester Rifle, 38 Police Handgun, and M16 Rifle Platform Kyle used himself as a Navy SEAL. This is also the story of how American innovation, creativity, and industrial genius has constantly pushed technology and U.S. power forward. Okay, a little bit about Chris Kyle. He, a lot of people know this, but, and there's a movie out right now about it um, called American Sniper. I have not seen the movie or read his other book, Amer American Sniper. Um, I might, may read it someday. I just haven't got around to it. And he was a sniper, and he was tragically killed. And there's a lot of controversy around him, and I actually haven't even followed it. I don't even know that much about the controversies. Everybody's saying all kinds of weird stuff. And I don't even really care, because it doesn't really affect me. As far as this <clears throat> book goes, it, I, I like the book. And I'm going to now play the sample audio for you. And I'll start that now. <clears throat> Sorry, that this audio comes from audible.com's website, and here I'll start it now. On the morning of June 8, 1844, a Texas ranger spotted a beehive up in a tree near a creek in the hill country of central Texas. With the scent of honey tempting his taste buds, the young lawman climbed the branches halfway up to inspect the bounty. Then he froze. Captain, shouted the ranger to his commander on the ground, the legendary Texas ranger, Captain John Coffee Hayes. Yonder comes a thousand Indians. 
The hour-long firefight that followed became known as the Battle of Walker Creek, or Hayes' Big Fight. The tussle marked a new era of American history and westward expansion, one where the balance of power shifted decisively to the white settlers moving into the western expanse. It was also part product and part symbol of a vast awakening of American industry, which would eventually see factories producing millions of guns. This boom would continue through the Civil War and beyond, reaching its peak in 1873 with a masterpiece of design and performance, the Colt Single Action Army Revolver, a.k.a. Model P, M1873, Single Action Army, SAA, Colt 45, and my favorite tag of all, Peacemaker. Just the fact that it has that many nicknames tells you it's a hell of a gun. But the Colt 1873 did not... Okay, now kind of my take on it. Um, I gave you a sample there to hear, you know, how it sounds and how you might enjoy it. Um, just give you a sample. And my take on this book is I really liked it, but it's kind of a thing I'm into. I love guns and I love history, so... It's right up my alley. If you love history or if you love guns, you'll probably like this book. Um, if not, you might not like this book. But if you just want to learn about firearms, about these these ten firearms, there's some <clears throat> great history in here and some great stories. Like I say, there's a lot of controversy around Chris Kyle right now, and I, I, he seems like a good guy and he seems like a hero to me, but I don't really. I don't really know what all the controversy is. I I don't spend a lot of time looking into stuff like that. I I just know what I hear other people talk about and say. And so I'm not really going to give my opinion on it <clears throat> other than that. And that's all I have. Please go to my website. It's audiobookreviewspodcast.com. And check out my other reviews there. And thanks for listening.